Hello everybody and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner. In today's episode we're touring Pogue Creek Canyon. Anyway, this one's a little bit different because there are no, um, what do you call them, watch points. So instead I'm just going to explore. And I've got the right truck for this actually. Lots of points and it actually looks good. It's got the body on it. That's why I don't use these so much, it's because the body is actually the only attachment you can get. Maybe not such a bright idea. Not really, I want it either. Alright, let's see if I can walk about it. Is this one that really wasn't it, or was it the other one? I can't remember. As you can see, it's taking a lot of damage because, well, rocks. And these trucks have always seem to be quite susceptible. Fortunately, I have 9,000 points of damage points, and I think I carry a lot more repair points. So this is sort of this is the sort of map this truck was built for, really. The more evil, the better. No, I'm probably not doing it right because I normally don't touch the trail maps that much. Type of climbing hills like this is it's quite difficult to actually see what you're doing. I mean, see, all I can see now is the camera is. Fortunately, I'm carrying garage points. Yeah, there's a lot of garages on this map. Um, how will we go next? I guess we'll follow this road. And on the top here, and I kind of want to go over there, but I feel like I'm going to have to end up backtracking. I don't really want to backtrack. Just hoping to avoid doing that. 
This was a rock hopping trail that I originally was on uh, in Zap up here. Unfortunately there is no such thing as gentle with this truck. Just full on. Anyway. Maybe I should have brought something a little bit tamer. Yeah. That would not be fun. But yeah, as you can see you need to bring something pretty hardcore for this map. Stock vehicles don't really aren't really gonna cut it too much. Although might be a tad more controllable. I suppose it'd be a bit of a winch, you could do it, but it'd be a winch fest. I want to at least try and see the corners of this map. But as you can see, this is the sort of map you can just sort of power through. <laughs> um, I don't remember which one it was. There's this one map. And I really need to do it, settle down to it again sometime and try and beat it. But uh, it's pretty feral. You need a vehicle with deep forwarding capability and being able to go up and down vertical slopes. I mean, I tried uh, the Unimog. Photos Unimog and it, it didn't end up very well and it handled everything but one of the downhills and then sort of ended up standing on its front bumper and the International that I've used in one of my older videos much the same could monster everything handled the deep water uh, first deep downhill and ended up standing on the front bumper unable to go any further so I'm not sure what uh, map they tested with there's actually a track. Oh, yeah, it goes down the back the way I came. I think I might avoid that one, it's a bit rocky. They're all a bit rocky. There's not much I can do about that, but um, just take care. This would also be a lot better with a manual transmission. I would have a little bit more control over what the gearbox does. Yeah. I don't want to go back down that way, I want to go straight ahead. If that way I miss it, too many boulders for my taste. any fewer this way either. Probably should knock this into first or something. Seems to be those red corners that take a beating. Yeah, the creator of this map had a lot of fun with the rock tool. Oh, it's just an open area. First, yeah, that looks nice. Uh, that's a ten minute mark. Now, where will I go next? 
drop down to that river over there. But kind of wish I'd taken this route to the left, but. straight down instead of following with proper trail. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that get a feeling this is gonna end poorly, but it'll be fun if I do. Oh wow, that actually went well. I mean there's a bridge down there which I wanna see. Rocks would be going down here hardcore, but uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't really think there's a road up there, but there is a fuel station which suggests you can make it up there. So let's have a look. I get a feeling I'm going to regret this one. At least I have a spot where I can cut loose for a short while. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Mud is quite thick down here. Really? This thing is so fussy about rocks. I think that's as much a game issue than anything else. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a mystery tour for me because I actually have no idea what I'm facing. I do like those bridges, they're quite neat. Never seen them before, so they're obviously a custom job for this map. Now I want to go right around here somewhere. If possible. Then I remember just how much this thing sucks in the water. Yeah, this is a sort of map you get a few friends and just explore for hours. Of course, since I record at odd times, I don't really get that, to have that kind of fun. It's a shame. I mean, I do have some people that I occasionally play with, but they're all in Europe. And would probably be waking up right now. That's always been the biggest issue, so I can only really do it on the weekends or. Um, holidays. Especially now that I have a job and therefore I can't really use the time like I used to. I'll let you stuck on. I get a feeling it's probably time to head up into the trees. Or just use the winch. But yeah, rocks have always been disproportionately challenging in Mudrunner.
that side but it may be a little difficult mm. let's go up the side and we'll at least see if I can get up this side There is a garage up there, so... it's the end of this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in Spintai's Mind Runner.